It's a business opportunity. We go door to door, we sell magazines. We explore like America, we party. Come with us. Got anybody who's gonna miss you? Not really. Okay, good. You're hired. Sasha, this uh, road trip movie kind of has a twist because it seems like everyone who gets in the van is trying to run from something. Mm -hmm. What do you think your character was hoping to get when she climbed into the van? I think she was trying to find a world outside of the one that she grew up in. You know, it's like, is this all life is or can I get something different? So looking for a little bit of that grass on the other side of the fence? Yeah, definitely. And do you think Star found that? I think she found, not necessarily found it, but I think she got this understanding of you, your life can be different. You know, there, could, there is more than what mm. you've known. And we just spoke to your director, mm. and she was saying that she actually crammed you all into a van and, and, and got you to drive. What was that experience like? <laughs> it, was, it was fun, and it was... Um, I, I love that. That's, you know, what I'd love to do is just kind of be in a van going. And so it was definitely uh, quite the experience. Now, you, Raleigh, didn't have that experience because you were being chauffeured in a pretty Mustang, uh, Mustang yeah, <laughs> yeah, by Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> Explain why your character had that special spot in the show. Because um, she's the boss of the, she's the boss of the magazine crew. So she has her own car. She drives. And she is one serious boss. I was saying before we rolled tape, I was a little nervous that if I asked the wrong question, that character might come out and summon me. <laughs> oh, she's she's gone. <laughs> Crystal died two months ago. <laughs> Thank how, God. <laughs> yeah. How how emotionally tolling was that on you know hard on you to to play because she was rough. Yeah, it tough. was really hard. Like honestly, listening to that song just now makes me well up because it was so emotional that whole thing for us yeah. all um this whole idea of like experienced actors actors that are doing it for the first time what was that like together i, th I mean you see you can see it you know it's beautiful i think what do you think I, uh, it was beautiful to watch i'm just wondering was there like a big sister little sister kind of experience happening <sighs> um i think that uh, no, I don't think it was big sister, little sister. I think now it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, now um, I think then it was definitely like a, here go some people. Let's put us all together and like create this thing, you know. So there wasn't this, here go the actors and here go the non-actors. It was like, yo, Riley, hey. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're yeah. We're making a movie. Yeah, yeah. There, wasn't, there wasn't like a non-actors, actors thing at all. Mm -hmm. like, if anyone were odd men out, it was Shia and I, you know, Cause, but we, which, you know. No one was an odd man out because it was a very tight group, but like right. it wasn't like, oh, we're actors and then the non actors go over. You know, it was so not that. Like, I, can't, nice. I don't even. It didn't it. read that way either. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's, it almost read like a documentary. In fact, it almost seemed yeah. like you were real people in this situation. We somehow just snuck in on a vlog camera. That's to, so yeah. much what it is. Like you, people say movie and we're like, that was life for two months. Like, that's, and there happened to be a camera. And how much could you actually relate, both of you each in turn, to what was happening in the van, like in, in your own real lives? I mean, that was our own real lives, you know, at the time. And um, we were all there for a reason. And I think all of us had something in common, which is that we had something missing in our lives and something that we were trying to fulfill. And mm -hmm. I think Andrea could see that in all of us. And I think there is a sadness in everybody that was on that trip, you know, and, 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 and an innocence as well. And mm. I think that... She saw that in all of these people, and um, all of the all of these people, all of them together, was just like magical, you know. Those moments when you were singing in the van, because there's all these really intense shots, you know, like a an insect going up a wall, kind of some shots of poverty. But to me, the most emotionally heavy moments when when you were all in the van singing and you would make random eye contact with mm -hmm. one another. Yeah. Was that heavy in the moment? Oh yeah, my it was real heavy. Gosh, yeah. Just... If you put that song on now, we'd both like be floodgates. I know. I noticed even <laughs> yeah. the song we played in the clip. Yeah. We looked at one another, and yeah. I was like, "Oh, I feel like I should step out. Something is happening between yeah. these two women right yeah. now." Cause, cause that just all of us in that van. I think it, it yeah, like the mood kind of got down, and we were all just like, "Yo, we just experienced so much together." And like, here go this song, and like, that it's just like a trigger, you know. And is that something, because you've got experience in other movies, is that something that always happens or 
was yeah. something really special and interesting happening here that never usually... I've had special things happen filming movies, but nothing nothing like this, and I don't think I'll ever have this kind of experience again. It was... There's nothing about it that was like filming a movie. It was having a summer, spending a summer with these people who became your family traveling across America. And, um, you know, I don't, it was, it wasn't, it was like nothing I've ever experienced in any part of my life before. So, yeah, it was pretty special. As intense for you as it was for us watching. <laughs> Probably more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Time yeah, I, I, when we, like, when I hear those songs, like any of them, I, I'm just like, it's literally like floodgates, like floodgates, like <laughs> memories, like post-traumatic stress. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Can you tell the story of how you got discovered? Yeah, uh, I was, I went to spring break. I was in college. I went on spring break trip to kind of just, I just had to breathe for a minute. And, yeah. you know, here comes Andrea just talking to me and just saying, talking about this movie. And what really stuck out was. People have told me, obviously, like, okay, like, you're beautiful or this is this. But I've also heard so much. There wasn't a lot of – people don't have a lot of hope in me as far as how I looked and how I acted and how I thought. And Andrea was – Andrea and Amy were like the main ones who were like, Sasha, you – we want you for this role because you are who you are. And we think that's so beautiful. Exactly. And like we're, I said earlier, there's nothing more – shocking than someone being able to look at you and understand you 100%. exactly mm. and yeah. i think andrea had that with all of us yeah, yeah. Nice. i felt so whole like towards the end of that week that i hung out with her as she was kind of like casting me in a way i just felt really whole and i felt really like wow like you can just like star like there can be a different life for you you know this mm. people can see this and you have stuck to who you were for a reason and you held on for a reason and this is it and then to do this movie, my life, to experience that, I'm just like, wow. What a great message to other yeah. girls and women out there listening about being yourself and, exactly. and being you, true you to that. You have to, no yeah. matter what people keep saying, like, change this, this isn't yeah. going to work. No, if you just stick to it and it's like, well, you gotta be yeah, you. exactly. But there's a lot of actors that act for a long time before they get asked to do something, like even a kiss. Mm -hmm. Sasha, you had some <laughs> intense, intimate scenes. Yeah. What was that like, breaking your chops so quick? Ah, uh, it was, well, Andrea made it really intimate. She made it very comfortable. And also, I'm so big into, because the all, I mean, like the sex scenes and all of that, everything stood for something. The sex scenes were more of, no, this is a connection. This is eye contact. This is breathing. The thing with I'm dancing with my dad, this is, you're representing all these girls who've gone through this. Mm. This is emotion. This is like pain and I'm so into people and how that works and I'm also so big on like I am representing all these people and myself yeah. and so I just kind of let go of the fact that I'm acting and there's a camera and this is crazy and I was just like mm, I'm gonna do this because I want to get into that and I want to be able to show it properly and feel it because it's you know it's like a it's a it was a healing thing as well and it was like a representation and so it was tough, she but took one for so the team. worth it. <laughs> and I can see how connected you are with Riley, but your scenes in the movie, like we're all holding our breath because mm -hmm. there's just so much tension between you. Was that hard to to get into that with one another? Um, I mean, we're a lot closer now than we were when we were filming. Oh, okay. Um, we, I, I mean, there was like a little bit of distance between us when we were filming, but not like, I think we just like, I don't know. We kind of created, because we weren't supposed to really talk to each other because we weren't supposed to know each other first. So we kind of created this weird thing. And there's also, it was, yeah, there was like this weird lingering. But I think as it got on is when we kind of were like, like I, something about Riley, I was like, all right, I'm seeing her as a person and I'm like digging it. And after, who else do you talk to after that? No one else knows that experience. Right. So we clung, I clung to Riley and was like, Dude, yeah. I just did this. This is, and we just kind of built off of that. Yeah, well, I think it was necessary. Yeah, to have a little some distance, distance between us for sure. But it was like, I mean, we were still like, like full blown nonstop giggle. Yeah, giggle fest. Which the two is, of I us know. together. In every those <laughs> scenes, we were always like, like I can't. Yeah. yeah. 
yeah. you, uh, from a viewer's perspective, you would never know because those scenes were the ones where it was kind of like something. Yeah, I'm so uncomfortable, but I can't look away. Yeah. I just can't look away from something this. about like the two of us trying to work together would, would just make us like burst into hysterical yeah. laughter. I think probably you need that when oh, yeah. working on such an Definitely. emotional. Yeah, we. Were, I think. I think part of that is like we just would be like, "What are we doing? Like and we're here. Was, this is weird." Yeah, like, and it was since it had this dark element and all of that, and I think me as well as Riley know life, so we were just like, <laughs> "Like, yeah. yeah, man, this is." You just had to laugh it off. That's what we do. It's just kind of like, "All right, we're just laughing because this is insane." Mm -hmm. Has it changed for either of you the way you look at America? Yes, absolutely, for me. In what way? Um, n well, no, it hasn't changed the way I look yeah. at it. But it's, so that was the wrong answer. It's it's made me, I don't know, It's it's made me realize that people don't know this world. Because I, I've, like, I don't know, hung out with all kinds of people. But right. when you refer to things that... I don't know, it's made me realize that people are, like, completely shocked by it. You know, like, wow, that's yeah. crazy. I'm like, that's not crazy. That's this country, you know? Right. So it's made me realize how how um, much ignorant people are to poverty. Yes. And to um, sort of Certain lower people. classes and, and our youth, you know? Yeah. And it's a whole, it's especially, you know... For me, I was like, no, this is um, this is America. This is what it is. Mm -hmm. I knew all of that, and I was very much like, I was just like, yeah, see it. And to know, yeah, like people were very shocked by it, but I'm like, it's right in front of your face. You just turn your eye or you remain ignorant to yeah, it. Yeah, so true. People mm -hmm. have that myopic. Yeah, like I don't see it, so I'm not going to think about it. Yeah. And what is in the future immediately for you, Riley, right now? Like in terms of um, work, work. Yeah, <sighs> um, I'm in the middle of filming a movie right now. Okay, I actually had to take a break to come to to TIFF. To TIFF. Yeah. Oh wow. Um, in Atlanta. Oh, okay. You do get around then. You were mm -hmm. here in Toronto for six months last year. Now Atlanta. Yeah. So you you do get to see America. Are you going to continue to act? Uh yeah, I am. I just did a short too, and um. As long as I can do this the way that feels good with me and I can keep at it the way I enjoy, then I definitely want to continue. Well, you both did an incredible job in this film. Two serious women doing some incredible work. Thank you so much for Thank taking you. the time. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us.